Begin lying on your back, feet flat, knees bent, feet and knees together. And you can slide the feet out away from the hips just a little bit to encourage the pelvis and the lower back to stay in neutral. So that means you have a little space underneath the lower back and then arms along by the sides, face up, and make sure there's a little space behind the back of your neck so you don't feel like you're tucking and you don't feel like you're extending this way either. Let's do a little bit of breathing. Inhale in that neutral, and then as you exhale, draw your abdominals in and around neutral. Good. Inhale in that neutral again. Exhale, feel the ribs close, draw the abdominals in, and keep that neutral. One more like that. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, draw the abdominals around neutral. This time, inhale, neutral. And then exhale, draw the navel down so much that you lightly imprint. And I haven't squeezed my glutes. I haven't changed very much. It's just more of a sinking sensation. My lower back is closer to the ground. Inhale, go back to neutral. So now the pelvis is back in that flat plane. And then as you exhale, draw the belly button down imprint. And now the pelvis is slightly tilted with the pubic bones up a little higher than the hip bones. Inhale, go back to neutral. Again, this flat plane right here, pubic bones, hip bones. And then exhale, draw the navel down, light imprint, and you're gonna feel the lower back a little heavier. And then inhale, go back to neutral. Great job, you guys. To get into our ab preps or our crunches, I wanna start with some head nods. So when you do your head nod, think about lengthening the back of the neck. You inhale, lightly tuck the chin. And again, think about that length happening back here. And then exhale to release. Instead of really moving through the front of the skull think about moving through the back of the skull so again inhale nod exhale release and it's very small very subtle inhale nod exhale release it's just as subtle as that neutral to imprint okay so small movements inhale nod exhale release one more time inhale nod and exhale to release so we'll turn that into an ab prep and when you curl up into your crunch you're just going to float your arms about this high off the mat okay and then we're gonna turn that eventually into the hundred so i just want to give you um, a road map of where we are going inhale to nod exhale draw the abdominals in float the head and shoulders off the mat and float the arms with them make sure you haven't squeezed your glutes or tucked into an imprint okay we want the pelvis to stay in that flat plane pubic bones to hip bones okay we're not tilting the pubic bones up like this we're keeping everything down and then exhale to lower good you guys inhale nod Exhale, lift up, stay there to breathe in. Check out your shoulders, make sure they're away from your ears, and then exhale to lower down. Three more, inhale, nod, exhale, lift. Inhale to stay, check on the glutes and the shoulders, and then exhale to lower down. Two more, inhale, nod, exhale, lift. Stay there to breathe in, exhale to lower down. One more time, inhale, nod, exhale to lift. Stay there to breathe in, good and then exhale to lower. This time we're gonna go up um, into a tabletop position with the legs. So let's get there together. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, find imprint. Inhale, lift one leg up to tabletop. Exhale, lift the other. Okay, so for your 100 today, if you'd like to, you can exhale, stretch the legs out as low as you can maintain imprint, and then inhale, bring the knees back in. So that might be more like up here for you, or like way down here for you, okay? Or somewhere in the middle, but it'll be different for everyone. Here we go with the 100. Inhale, nod. Exhale, lift up into that crunch. Good, float the arms. And then get the elbows really straight, get the wrists really straight. We don't wanna flap from the wrists. We don't wanna flap from the elbows. We go from the shoulders. So we inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, good, 10. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 20. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, good, 30. Inhale two, three, four, five. Draw your belly button down, 40. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 50. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 60. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, good, 70. Inhale, lift the head and shoulders. Exhale, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 90. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, 100. Inhale, bring the knees in, reach the arms along. Exhale, lower your head down and gently lower your feet down. Great work, you guys. Swish your knees side to side. So you should be feeling a little warmer now. <laughs> We're gonna flip over and do some breaststroke preps. So I wanna do the two breaststroke prep versions that we don't normally do. Normally we do the one where the arms are long by your sides. Today we're gonna to do the one where the elbows are bent here, hands are flat, and you want your elbows down. So if your hands are too far back and the elbows are up, 
slide them forward. Bring your inner thighs together and then just hover your nose right off the mat. Now really energize the legs. Pull the inner thighs toward one another and even press down into the toenails and feel the top of the kneecaps engage, your quadriceps engage, but we're not lifting our feet, okay? So toenails stay down. Inhale, you're gonna roll your shoulder blades together on your back and then lift up a little bit. And I'm really not using my hands here, okay? So test the waters, lift your hands up, make sure you're not pressing. It's just a little bit of an extension. You wanna feel that happening at the bra line and not your lower back. Sorry, Stewie just um, hit the wire and moved the camera. And then we're gonna exhale to lower back down. Okay, so we're gonna do that six more times. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades together and lengthen forward. Exhale to lower down, draw your abs in when you exhale to lower. Inhale, glide the shoulder blades together, lengthen the heart reaching forward, toes down, and then exhale to lower. So just think about really energizing the whole body. Inhale, glide your shoulder blades together, lengthen, exhale to lower. Inhale, glide the shoulder blades together, down and back, lengthen, test it out, make sure you're not using your hands. Exhale, the other thing is no wrinkles behind the back of the neck, so make sure you're not thrusting your chin forward and looking straight ahead, keep the eyes on the mat. Inhale, glide the shoulder blades together, lengthen, exhale to lower. One more time, you guys. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades down and back, lengthen the heart forward, but not the eyes, and then exhale to lower, good. The next version we're gonna do is gonna put a little more weight or load on the spine. So we're gonna stack the hands under the forehead and then glue the forehead to the backs of your hands. You're going to be hovering, so even lower of a lift than the last exercise, the head and the hands come up together. So you inhale, hover, lengthen, press down into your toenails, Exhale to lengthen back down. Inhale, hover up, lengthen, glide your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale to lower. Let's do that four more times. Inhale, hover, exhale, lower. Inhale, three, exhale, lower. Inhale, two, exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower. Great job, you guys. Bend your knees, swish your feet side to side. Shake it out for a moment, and then let's do a shell stretch. We're gonna do a traditional shell. So here's what I need you to do, is sit your hips all the way back onto your heels, scoop your abdominals, and then round over from there, and you're gonna feel much more of a back stretch than if you were all stretched out here, okay? So scoop your tummy, really get some energy going. Just rest your hands on your thighs, and let your head Drop over, just get your chin off your chest. You don't wanna tuck your chin too hard. Make your spine this sort of wheel shape. Take a deep breath in there. Exhale, draw your abs in, lengthen your tailbone down. Good, and then go ahead and stretch out into child's pose and feel the difference. Deep breath in. There's a little less energy going on here, but it's still a wonderful stretch. Exhale. And then we're gonna come into a seated position for half rollbacks. So we're gonna do sort of um, our intermediate uh, mat work in order today, okay? So we'll skip a few things as we get further into the workout since we only have 30 minutes, but we're gonna go in order today and, and pretty quickly. So half rollbacks first. You're gonna start with knees bent, feet flat, knees and feet either together, or if you need a little space, separate them. That sometimes gives people room in their lower back. And then you wanna get right on your sit bone. So if you're not, prop yourself up on something. Draw your abs in, round over, and reach the arms in front, shoulders down, chin a little bit off the chest, okay? So you're in this ball shape, and I want you to keep it. You're gonna inhale, stay, exhale, scoop your tummy, roll that behind the sit bones, so you're still in this scooped shape. Now take that scoop over your legs, inhale. And I don't want you to collapse, keep some space here. Exhale, scoop for seven, inhale, round over. Exhale, scoop for six, eyes forward. Inhale, now eyes down. Exhale, scoop for five. Inhale, good. Exhale, scoop for four. Inhale, so you should feel this in your abdominals. Exhale, scoop, scoop, scoop the abs in three. Inhale, you're tucking your tailbone under. Good, two. Inhale, one more time. Exhale, roll all the way down until your head is down. Great job, you guys. We're gonna do the roll up. So flex your feet. Legs are straight. You might find that bending the knees makes it a little easier to get up, and that's okay if you need to do that. And then feet and knees are together, okay? Again, sometimes people feel like they get a little more space for their lower back if they separate the feet and the legs. It's fine if you'd like to try that, okay? So arms reach up, and then as you exhale, reach the arms back, but don't let the ribs pop up. Okay, so ribs down, still in neutral. 
Inhale, nod your head without lifting, arms over the shoulders. Now exhale, scoop your tummy round over the legs. Draw your abs in. Good, and keep a little space here, so I don't want you to collapse, especially if you're really flexible. Inhale, start to roll down, eyes are forward, shoulders down. Try and hip imprint right here. And then exhale, stretch the arms back. Good, we're only gonna do four more. Inhale, fingertips over the shoulders, nod the head. Exhale, scoop the tummy, round over straight legs, look down. Inhale, start to roll down, shoulders down. Exhale, scoop, try and hit that imprint right here. Good, you just don't wanna collapse. Three more. Inhale, fingertips over the shoulders, nod the head. Exhale, scoop the tummy, round over. Good, inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, to reach back, keep the ribs down. Two more. Inhale, nod. Exhale, peel yourself up, press down through those heels, round over, look down. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, reach the arms back without letting the ribs pop up. Last time, inhale, fingertips over the shoulders, nod the head. Exhale, peel yourself up, press down through the heels, round over, and then inhale to stop all the way up. You made it. Okay, so we're gonna sit um, or stay seated for the twist. So you'll wanna separate the legs a little wider, okay? So like a V with the legs. Now, if you're not up on your sit bones, again, you wanna prop yourself up, okay? You don't wanna be back here to do the twist or you will hurt your spine, okay? So lift up really tall and prop yourself up if necessary. Reach the arms out to the sides. We're gonna go three pulses to the right. You'll inhale to prepare, grow tall. Exhale, rotate three, a little further, two, a little further, one. Inhale, center left. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, check your shoulders. Exhale, let them drop. Two, relax the shoulders. Good, one, inhale. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, we've got four more, you guys. Exhale, three, a little further, grow taller. Good, this is so good for your mobility. Exhale, three, look over your shoulder. One, inhale, use your eyes. Exhale, three, two, grow taller. One, inhale, last time. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, hold center, and exhale, lower the arms down. Well done. We're gonna go into rolling like a ball and then right into our abdominal endurance series. Single leg stretch, obliques, double leg stretch, and scissors, right? All the fun ones. Okay, so we're gonna balance behind the sit bones. Now, you have to keep a ball shape, just like you did for the half roll back, okay? That's a prep for this exercise. So you roll back behind the sit bones, lift the legs up to tabletop, and then the hands stay here on the shins. You scoop your tummy, glide the shoulders down, keep your eyes on your knees and you inhale, start leading with your lower back. I see people throw their shoulders back first. You wanna bring your lower back down first, okay? Eight times. Inhale, roll onto the shoulder blades, and then exhale. So the hips lift up, inhale, exhale, but I'm not rolling onto my neck or my head. Inhale, just my shoulder blades, right? So I'm keeping that scoop, inhale, five. Exhale, you're trying to roll through each vertebra. Inhale, four. Good, exhale, so really lead with your lower back. Scoop your tummy, three. Exhale, good, try not to kick your legs up. And two, that's hard for me. One more time, inhale, roll back. Exhale, good, now take one leg bent with you, extend the other, get your lower back down. You're in a crunch, okay, you're ready for single leg stretch. So you inhale to prepare, outside arm is long, inside arm is bent, exhale to switch. Good, 12. 11, exhale, 10, 9, 8, keep your imprint, 7, keep your crunch, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we're going right into oblique, so keep going with the legs, fingertips behind the head, rotate toward the bent knee, 12, exhale, 11, 10, 9, keep your imprint, 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, inhale, stay center, lift the head and shoulders. Exhale, relax your head, relax your feet, and switch your knees side to side. Good. That's a lot of endurance for the abdominals there. So we're gonna move into double leg stretch. And remember, this is the one where the legs stretch out when you exhale, just like the 100, and the arms go in the opposite direction. So they're gonna go back, but keep the ribs closed, and then they circle around. Okay, so do one more with me. Exhale, reach. Inhale, circle, okay? And you're gonna be doing the legs and arms together while you're in a crunch. So inhale in that neutral. Exhale to find imprint. Inhale, lift one leg up to tabletop. Exhale, lift the other. Inhale, nod. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Reach the hands for the outsides of the calves. Inhale to prepare. Now exhale, you're gonna reach the arms back, reach the legs out, and then circle the arms around. Good, exhale, reach. 
Inhale, and I'm not lowering my shoulders. I keep them up. Exhale, six. Inhale, good blowout. Draw your belly button down, five. Inhale, nice, you guys. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Beautiful. Exhale, two. One more time, keep your crunch. One. Inhale, stay. Exhale, relax your head down. Keep the legs up and straighten them up to the sky for scissors. Inhale, nod, point the toes. Exhale, curl up into a crunch. Hold on to one leg with both hands as you lower the other and pulse it twice. Inhale, legs meet, switch. Inhale, pause, exhale. 10, good. Exhale, nine. So we're pausing at the top. Exhale, eight. I'm gonna change that in a second. Exhale, seven. They're just gonna pass in midair. So it's switch. Good, four and three and two and one. Inhale, hold, lift up into that crunch. Exhale, bend your knees, lower the head. Good, rock side to side. That was great, you guys. It's a lot of flexion, a lot of rounding forward. So we're gonna sort of move you the other way for shoulder bridge. Feet come down flat, separate the knees and the feet about sit bone distance apart. So not too wide, okay? Not quite as wide as your outer hips. And then bring the heels right underneath the knees. So they're pretty close in here, okay? And that way you're gonna help activate your glutes, not the hamstrings, which likes to cramp up for a lot of us, okay? So part of that is foot placement, Part of that is your hydration level. So if you're a little dehydrated, you might tend to cramp up a lot. Um, also biomechanics, okay? So the glutes are supposed to fire first, but sometimes people's hamstrings take over and start to cramp up, okay? Because they're not made to, to um, lift a lot the way the glutes are made. So they cramp up because they get tired. All right, so hopefully that won't happen to you. So for shoulder bridge, we're going to inhale in neutral and then simply exhale, pick the hips up out of that neutral, okay? Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Of course, we're gonna add on. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. And we're gonna stay up on this one. Exhale, lift up. And you guys know this one from last week. Okay, you're gonna lift the right leg into tabletop and kick it up. This hip has not dropped. I flex the foot. Exhale, lower the right leg in line with the left thigh. Inhale, point, lift. Exhale, flex, lower. One more. Inhale, point, lift. Exhale, flex, lower. Inhale, point, lift, hold. Now bend the knee and put the foot down the same way it came up. Let's do the left side. Inhale, bend and kick. Flex that foot, exhale, lower down in line with the right thigh, inhale, point, lift. Exhale, flex lower, inhale, point, lift, good. One more, exhale, inhale, point, lift. Now bend the knee, exhale, place the foot down the same way it came up. Inhale to stay here in your bridge, hips lifted. Exhale, place the hips back down into neutral. That was great, you guys. We're just gonna do one more set. Left leg will lift first. Inhale in neutral, exhale, lift the hips up. Inhale, left knee comes up bent, kick it up, flex the foot, exhale, lower down three. Inhale, point, lift. You can lower it a little further if you can keep the hip lifted. Inhale, try it out. Exhale, good. Inhale, point, lift. Now exhale, bend and place the foot down. Other side. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, flex lower, maybe a little lower than the leg. Yeah, inhale. Exhale, two, you gotta keep the hip up. Inhale, exhale, draw your abs in. Inhale, point, lift. Exhale, bend and place the foot down. Inhale, stay up. Exhale, place the hips down. You did it. And then kick your left leg up to the sky. Point and flex a couple times, stretch out your hamstring, maybe you grab behind the thigh and bring it in a little closer, circle the foot around in one direction and around in the other. Now let's do the other side, kick the right leg up, good time to stretch the hamstrings, point and flex a couple times. Maybe you grab behind the thigh to get a little deeper, circle the foot around in one direction and then around in the other. Great work, you guys. Okay, so from here we're gonna do the roll over. And I'm just gonna scoot down to give myself a little room because I've got this frame behind me and the legs, theoretically, are gonna go overhead. Okay, I'm gonna give you some modifications if you don't wanna do the full exercise today. Okay, so I would like you to do just this much. Imprint, legs tabletop, and this is your start position. It's challenging. You're gonna exhale, reach out, keep imprint, okay? So on the inhale, you start to hinge and then on the exhale, you're either going to just lift up a little, like that, okay? Or you're gonna exhale, roll over, onto the shoulders. Inhale, start to roll down. And then exhale, you reach back out. So I want everybody to do this part, because it's challenging and I know you can do it. Inhale, start to hinge, everybody do this part. And then however much of this you do is up to you. Exhale, good. Inhale, start to roll down. And then exhale to stretch out. We're just gonna do three more, your choice. Inhale, hinge, exhale, roll up a little, or a lot. Make sure there's space behind the back of your neck. Inhale, start to roll down. 
Exhale to reach out. Keep your imprint. Two more. Inhale. Good. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, draw the abdominals and keep that imprint. You can use your arms to control it. Inhale. And good. Inhale, start to roll. Exhale, draw the abdominals and keep that imprint. Stretch the legs a little lower, lower, lower. And then bring the knees in. Good. Hug the knees into your chest. Circle the knees around in one direction and around in the other direction. Good, you guys. I'm sweating. Are you? <laughs> okay, good. All right, so we're going to flip over onto your abdomen again for the full breaststroke. So we always do the prep. So this is what we're sort of preparing for, okay? So for the full breaststroke, the legs remain down, just like the preps. Inner thighs together, press down into the toenails, kind of pull up on your kneecaps and really energize without lifting the legs. So on the exhale, you're gonna reach your arms overhead and hover, okay? Like Superman, you're looking down. On the inhale, you sweep the arms back, glide your shoulder blades together, just like that prep right here, and you lift the heart a little higher. So exhale, you're gonna bend your elbows, let's do it. Dive through to that hover. Inhale, sweep back, glide your shoulder blades together, lift your heart, but don't thrust your chin forward. No wrinkles behind the neck. Exhale, bend and stretch into that hover. Inhale, sweep back, glide the shoulder blades together. Exhale, hover. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, hover. Inhale, really energize the legs. Exhale, hover. Inhale, now when you exhale, draw your abs in. Exhale, draw your tummy in. Inhale, sweep, two more. Exhale, hover. Inhale, sweep, one more time. Exhale, hover. Inhale, glide the shoulder blades together, and then go ahead and place the hands and elbows down. Bend your knees, windshield wiper your feet side to side. I love, I love, I like and I love the breaststroke. All right, so we're gonna press back into that shell stretch again. So sit all the way onto your heels, hips down as much as your knees permit. Scoop your tummy and then round over the legs, let your head drop. Stay there to breathe in. Exhale, draw your abdominals in, sit your hips down a little further if you can. Inhale one more time, and exhale, start to roll it up. Good, we're gonna do saw, another traditional Pilates exercise we don't do very often, but it's really great. So we're gonna stretch the legs out, but a little wider than where you were for the twist, okay? So remember the legs were a little closer in, but apart, you're gonna go a little wider, okay? Because we want a good rotation here, so arms out. You're going to inhale, spiral to one side. Now turn your back thumb down. It's gonna stretch your shoulder and reach your front pinky like you're sawing off your pinky toe. You're gonna to scoop your tummy round over. Inhale, stack it up. Turn the palms back forward and exhale to the center. Let's do the other side. Inhale, rotate. Turn the back thumb down. Reach for that pinky toe with your pinky finger. Draw your abdominals in. Inhale to stack up. Exhale, so if you're really flexible through your hamstrings, I don't want you hinging, okay? I want you to scoop your tummy and round. There's a difference between this, okay, way controlled, and this, not so controlled, okay? Different exercise. So let's go to the side again that we started. Inhale, turn the back pink thumb down. Exhale, reach with your front pinky. Inhale to stack up. Exhale, back to center. Other side, inhale, rotate. Exhale, turn the back thumb down. Saw off your pinky toe. Inhale, stack it up. Exhale to center, good, four more. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, scoop the tummy. Inhale, up, exhale, center. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, reach. Inhale, stack it up. Exhale, center, two more. Inhale, rotate. Turn the back thumb down, reach with the front pinky. Inhale, stack it up. Exhale, center, last time. Inhale, spiral. Exhale, reach. Inhale, stack it up. Exhale, center, and lower the arms down. Good, okay, for open leg rocker. Very similar to um, rolling like a ball, except the legs are either here, bent, okay? And so you're gonna scoop your tummy, roll back, and come up, or you can make it harder and straighten the legs and hold on to the um, ankles. So you inhale, scoop, exhale, and then lift. I almost didn't make it. I gotta practice this one. So let's do six more your choice, you guys. Inhale, roll back, straight leg or bent. Exhale, lift. Ah, almost got it. Inhale, five. Exhale, so again, I'm not rolling onto my neck. Inhale. Exhale, my head stays up. Inhale, four. Exhale, and do you see I'm really tilting my pelvis? I'm scooping, rolling back, three. Good, exhale, lift. Inhale, scoop. Exhale, lift. One more time, inhale, scoop. Exhale, lift, good, I got better as I warmed up. <laughs> and we'll bend the knees, feet flat. Excellent job. 
This next one is obliques roll back, another really great one. So you're gonna stretch the legs out again, flex the feet, and then again, you can separate the feet a little bit. Um, you don't have to go as wide as saw, okay? And then the arms are gonna start in front. You're gonna start upright. So you'll inhale to prepare, exhale, scoop the tummy, roll back, and then drop one arm like you're drawing a smiley face and rotate from your rib cage. Look over your shoulder, inhale, sweep back up, okay? So you get into that scoop and then you turn. Let's go to the other side. Exhale, roll, tilt, scoop, sweep. Inhale, other side. So we're alternating, good. Inhale, get all the way up in your sit bones every time. Make sure you're here before you go back again, okay? Exhale, roll, tilt, scoop. Inhale up, let's do four more. Exhale. Inhale, good, three more. Exhale. Inhale, really turn from the waist. Two. Inhale, one more time. It's pretty challenging if you go back far enough. One. Inhale, and exhale to lower down. Okay, guys, just a few more moves. Teasers and then swan. So let's start in our up teaser position. You've got a couple of options. You can keep the feet down the whole time. You can keep the legs bent and up the whole time. You can keep them up and straight the whole time. Okay, so let me demonstrate feet down first. Let's do that together. So this is your up teaser. Arms up, lean back so it feels challenging. If you're all the way up here, you won't feel anything. So lean back and challenge yourself. All right, here we go. Inhale, start to roll down. Arms stay by the ears. Exhale, now they're back at that 45 degree angle, ribs closed. So here's what it looks like with feet down. Inhale, fingertips over the shoulders, nod the head. Exhale, peel yourself up to seated, but stay back here, okay? You're not here, you're here. And then you lift the arms up to challenge yourself. Roll down like that. Inhale, arms stay as close to the ears as you can. Exhale, so the arms like to reach forward when you roll down, but I need them to stay back here, okay? Now, if you wanna try this with the legs in tabletop, you imprint and they stay up here, okay? Inhale, fingertips over the shoulders, nod. Exhale, peel it up. Inhale, float the arms up. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, reach back if you want to keep the legs straight. They're out here. Inhale, nod. Exhale, peel it up and float the arms up. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, reach four more. Your choice. Inhale. Exhale, lift the arms. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, reach three more. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, two more. I'm going to bend my knees. Inhale. Exhale, roll up, lift. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, I'm going to put my feet down for the last one. Inhale, good. Exhale, roll up, lift the arms. Inhale, start to roll down, and exhale, reach. Great work, you guys. Hug one knee into the chest, stretch the other leg all the way out and flex that foot. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, bring that knee in a little closer, and let's switch sides. Bring the other knee in, stretch the other leg out, flex that foot, deep breath in here. Exhale, hug that knee in a little closer. And go ahead and release. Great job, you guys. We're gonna flip over for swan. So I'm gonna bring my head to this end where the mic is so you can hear me. And then for swan, we're gonna do a little slow rocking today. So again, elbows and hands down, similar to that first breaststroke prep we did, which is like a prep for the swan. And then we're gonna turn the toes and the knees out, feet uh, a little wider than your mat, okay? So on the inhale, you're gonna roll the shoulder blades together and back, just like you did for that breaststroke prep we did in the warm-up, remember? So I'm not really using my hands at this point. Then I am gonna engage my arms and start to lift up into my full swan. Now my elbows stay bent, shoulders stay down, okay? My hip bones are lifted, but my pubic bone is down. And then as I bend my elbows, I'm gonna start to lift my legs up, exhale, okay? So I'm staying in this bow shape. I am not gonna come all the way down with my head. Inhale, toes down chest lifted, exhale. So I'm just kind of seesawing back and forth from this position, inhale to this position, exhale, good. Inhale, so the legs have to stay energized the whole time. Exhale, five, inhale, good, I love this one. Exhale, four, inhale, shoulders down, exhale, three, pull your elbows in, good, exhale, two. Inhale, one more time, exhale, one, and inhale to lift, exhale to go ahead and lengthen everybody back down. Stack your hands under your forehead, bend your knees, and windshield wiper your feet side to side. Great job, you guys. We have one more exercise to go. This is leg pull front, and then right into push-ups. So technically it's two exercises. You're gonna stay in your plank, okay? But we're gonna sort of string them together for efficiency, and then you are done, okay? So you're gonna come up onto the hands and the knees, and then you're gonna pick your position either with the knees back here in a modified plank, 
weight over the wrist or up on the toes, your choice. So either way, you're gonna inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, point rock back. Inhale, flex both feet. Exhale, lower down, other leg lifts. Inhale, keep the hips level. Exhale, point rock back. Inhale, flex both feet and lower. Good, again, inhale, lift the other. Exhale, point rock back. Inhale, flex both feet. Exhale, lower, last time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, point rock back. Inhale, exhale, and just holding plank without the leg is enough. Lower the knees down for just a moment. Stretch it back, full child's pose. Great work, you guys. Take a deep breath in. And out, we're gonna go up one more time and do four push-ups. I just need four push-ups from you today, okay? So we inhale to prepare. Exhale, find your plank. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press four, good. Inhale, exhale. Remember, you can be doing this from the knees. Good, one more time, your choice. Exhale, good knees down. Open the knees wide, put the big toes together and sit back into shell or child's pose. Let your head drop. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, one more deep breath in. And exhale, beautiful. And then sit on or in a comfortable position. Good job today, you guys. And let's just do a little side bend together. So we'll inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, stretch over. Keep this arm straight, keep the shoulders open. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower, good, lift the left arm, inhale. Exhale, reach over to the side, good. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, lower down one more each direction. Inhale, lift the right. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, lower last time, inhale. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, lower both arms up, deep breath in. Reach up, arch back, and exhale. And have a beautiful day, thank you so much for being with me today. See you next time.